Research in the 1950s helped towards the development of the first successful vertical takeoff and landing aeroplane, eventually to become the Harrier. To reduce the compromise needed for good low speed and supersonic flight, it may be desirable to use direct jet thrust to achieve vertical takeoff and landing. The Rolls-Royce Flying Bedstead is a research vehicle on which the flight division has been conducting experiments in the unusual stability and control problems associated with this new technique. The jets of the two engines eject downwards and the pilot's controls are connected through electronic stabilizing circuits to four compressed air nozzles mounted on outriggers. The next stage of development is the short SC-1 aircraft, which will convert to normal winged flight after vertical takeoff. An operational problem with the Harrier that required investigation was a swallowing of hot exhaust gas, which is recirculated in vertical takeoff and landing. This model of a Harrier is being used in a laboratory where jets give more than horizontal thrust. They lift as well with either separate lifting engines or, as seen here, with a downward deflection of the propulsive stream. As always, new techniques pose new problems. The effects of ground erosion by the high-speed jet and the effects when some of the hot gas enters the intake in vertical or near vertical takeoff. Note from the chalk dust cloud how the gas is swallowed as the jets are deflected downward. That shot was in real time. Here it is now in slow motion, where the ingestion can be clearly seen.